Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Cross Timbers Bison. Super excited. I'm about to test the water system and see if our tank fills up. I'm gonna test our corral tank that I've set up. It's our biggest one and I'm kinda anxious to see what happens. But um, So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm going to turn our water system on. I'm gonna leave the camera on at the water valve and our tank and hopefully it works. So. Fingers crossed, really excited. Been a long time coming for this. Um, hope everything goes well. Here we go. Pressure is good. Damn, we're full of water. All right, here we go. water. Here's what I want to see is this right here. Make sure this seals good from the tire rim to the concrete. Make sure there's no leakage. Oh, this is so exciting. I finally got this done. It's a lot of work, trenching. Um, so much rock that we had to deal with. Kevin and I had to deal with the trench in this property. Ran over like a thousand feet of PVC. And then setting these in concrete. I still have some work to do. We still have some pipe work to do. I'm gonna put some pipe across here. Try to keep them out of this. I'm stepping it and damaging it. Cause I wanna try to get in it in the summertime when it's nice and hot. Got to put some dividers here and I come up remember because this is going to be split You've got Eleanor and the two calves out here right now And then this will be opened up right here We'll move this panel and this will be part of our main corral system kind of where we work the bison and whatnot. So oh, It's so nice to Finally have at least this that is a good sign and that is a start right there. It makes me feel a whole lot better uh, Just that we've got water in here now gotta clean this tank out and um, I did to finally have this done and using that old well house um, that I got tested two years ago. I got that water tested maybe a year and a half ago. I got the water tested 
uh, out of that water well and got it back going and there's no telling how long it has it been running so uh, it's nice to use the resources that we're already here from an original dairy farm so oh it's so nice Okay, so this tank is almost full. Um, one thing I'm trying to watch is to see if it shuts off by this right here. So I may have to adjust my string. Our valve is setting a little higher than I want, but it's okay, we're gonna protect it. We're gonna put a, a two by four or a two by six or some metal across it first, but I wanna see if it shuts off here because I have to adjust the string, the length on the actual valve, uh, on the actual float. So. That looked like it shut off. So there you go. It worked. It shut off. Success right here is what this is. So very excited. Um, awesome. This one's ready to go. Come check it out. Tell me what you think. <laughs> you like it that much don't you <laughs> uh, now out of all of them you'll end up in it don't get my water all nasty yeah so in case you guys don't know who this is this is Eleanor's little bull here he's a mess he's a funny little dude so, I guess he locks it. Good sign. Got this one going right here is what I call our, our silo water right here. It's coming out. It's going a little slow. That's probably because the big one down in the pasture down there is running. So, I'm going to hop in the ATV and we're going to run down there. I say we're Maya. And I are going to run down here and see if the one in the bottom pasture is running too. Because they have the valve open for it too. Fingers crossed. So here we go. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, come on, hurry. Come on, you're dragging. Let's go. Slow this down, Maya. Come on. Here, water. We got water. Heck yeah. That's exciting. It's going to take it a minute. This is actually our biggest tire. So I'm just doing all this to make sure everything is going to hold and actually this seal is good. So I know it's a little muddy right now. We can drain it because I have a drain now and uh, water's coming out. That's good. All right. So now we're down in the bottom pasture. Bison and Roman down here. They haven't been in this lot in a long time, but this tire is splitting this. So this is the furthest one from the well and actually the water's coming out pretty good. You can actually hear it, but it's about full. And that flow, once it rises up, some should start to cut off.
Success number two so far. Uh, this tank, like I said, it splits our bottom two most, these are our farthest away pastures. This is the furthest away tank, but got it just right. It's perfect. Now, still got to put posts here on both sides, bar across, may have to protect that, but I love it so far. It's on this mound already and it's built up. So bison, they're not even know what to do. They're gonna be like, what the heck? We got water down here. We have to go all the way to front. They're gonna love it. They're gonna be like, what in the world? We got water, water. Yeah, love it. What do you think? You don't care. Come on, let's go. Come on, why are you always, let's go, come on. All right, pressure has come back up since the other one is filled up. Uh, the main thing about this one that I wanna see is, I really want to see if, notice on this, right here along the seal, you see a little separation, you see a crack on here. So what I wanna know is, is it gonna leak? Um, and so we'll find out once it fills up over this uh, and it's on its way, it's just taking it a little bit, but this one should get more pressure. Um, and like filling them up obviously takes a lot of water pressure. It takes a lot of water to fill these up. So hopefully when they're full and they're just automatically need to come on when that water gets low and the, the float drops, it will spring on and, but it will all be at once. Cause right now they're all running at once. I found a quick way to fill it up. Took this off to clean the filter. <laughs> I made one little adjustment before I took it off and it really started to flow out. I was worried about the water pressure. Thought maybe it's because of the other ones, but nope, we got plenty of water pressure. We're good. I'm gonna fasten this back on. Perfect. See the base I have it actually stayed in, but you can just twist it off and clean that filter. That's what's the great thing about these valves. Now we are flowing. Something is blocking it. This one is pretty dirty though too. Let me go ahead and make my adjustment on this. It's gonna have to be pretty close. Something else I may need for these tire tanks, you can kind of see some moss already starting. It's gonna get worse as it gets hotter, but something that I need to think about is maybe putting some goldfish in here. You guys let me know what you think. Could put some carp in here or something. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, we may need to, uh, may need to put, some, uh, put some goldfish in here and then clean this place up. You guys let me know. Man, it is so nice to finally have this done. So much work has gone into it. I can't say that enough. It's so nice to have this. And because we have this now, we can start rotating our bison, which is, you guys know, which is why I did this. And if you go into, uh, if you uh, join part of the USDA or the NRCS, they'll do programs with you um, and, and help you financially, help you cross fence to be part of that regenerative ag. Um, but with that, there's some requirements that you have to go by if you want to get some financial help through them. Um, but when they do that, those requirements, you have to do what basically their standards are or what requirements they ask you to do if you want to get the financial help. And one of the things is you got to have water systems established so that you can cross fence and they'll actually help you with that. They'll give you money to drill a well uh, to get water and in tough places where you can't get water they'll help you do a lot of that stuff and so guys if you're looking for that um, contact your local nrcs which, which is the natural resource conservation service 
check NRCS out. Check your local uh, NRCS out. Thank you guys for watching this entire journey. This will end the five part series of setting these tire tanks. And um, thank you guys for being a part of this whole long system. And uh, it's been quite a system and it's taken me, I don't know, uh, basically probably a, at least a month to, to do all this. And so um, I'm glad it's done. <laughs> Needless to say, but it's perfect timing because the other thing is, is it's summertime and now we can rotate our animals and they can um, graze. So that's why we did all this and it's good timing. So if you haven't guys subscribe to us, hit the notification bell and you'll get uh, updated um, whenever I do post new videos. Um, and you can follow a small bison ranch in Southern Oklahoma along and uh, we're just doing our thing here and uh, taking care of these awesome animals that uh, we love and care about so much. And uh, oh, something I, I thought about and people keep asking me is, I need to name uh, the new calf that I got from Noah. I need to name her. Um, she's number 90, but I've kind of got some thoughts on what I should, some sort of connection to, to Noah, obviously, because he gave her to me and he brought her to me all the way from, from Southeast Kansas. So I need a name for her as well. And um, if you guys can want to comment below, leave me a comment on what you think I can name her. Um, anyways, thank you guys for being part of this journey. See you next time.